is demanding an item in the throne room and office. That's really the only bad mandate that we've got going on right now. It's currently 158 late winter. Another peaceful year, just continuing progress on the vault here. Everybody is relaxing, enjoying their their work and the creation that they've made through the decades of hard labor. But Rar's not happy and they, uh, Rar wants an item. Not telling me what item Rar wants. Just that item in throne room office. I've tried putting a few items over here in Rar's office. I tried putting a chain, I tried putting a statue, tried putting some chests. Just really, I don't know what else I can do for you, Rar. I think you're probably going to snap and go crazy soon, or punish someone at the very least for not getting what you want. Moving the barracks here, outside. Who is that? But we got those beds being shuffled up and moved up here. Han Solo, have you been moved over? There's I Am Lick, Shinmu. I don't know where Han Solo is. Let's find him real quick. There he is. He's been moved down to one of the champion bedrooms, apparently. Well, he can stay there and sleep. Maybe he'll wake up eventually. Candelava, you're there. You're fine. We don't have too many injuries. Uh, we did have one person get bit by a large rad scorpion, Dara. She's resting in bed. We got all those hooked up, and hopefully we'll be pulling them soon. Getting a fight started. And we've also set some fell safes over here. In case these nobles decide to give me any more demands that I don't like they're gonna wake up uh, surrounded by super mutants mostly because I'm tired of making uh, 500 earrings and 500 idols trying to get the specific item that they want and desire and now they're gonna start paying for their demands their free ride is over So it's 5th Obsidian, and we're just going to see what happens to Rar, since I have no idea what she wants. Well, we lost one of our great warriors today. Our warrior shell here decided to just stand on the edge and die of thirst. So rest in peace, Shell. You were part of Variax's squad. We'll have to find someone to fill your role there. And I guess they're coming up to remember you, maybe. Probably to steal your gear. But oh well, Shell, you aren't a real person anyways. Now we can put a real person in Variax's squad. That's really all that's going on. We're about ready to head into 159. Animals are dying of old age. Uh, we're chowing down on our food, and we've got plenty of idlers. It keeps uh, switching between about 15 and 35 to 40. So hopefully they're making friendships now. All the work's caught up. All the hauling jobs are mostly caught up. Just the occasional harvest now. The people in the vault are growing fat and lazy content in the peaceful years here. The arena begins to beckon. And it looks like one of our nobles got struck down. Willow is dead. I have no idea what killed what killed Willow there. There's some Willow bits. I don't see any creatures running around. And it just happened, so maybe you went over there and killed yourself, Willow? You did just have a mandate end. Vault Dweller Chunk, Vault Dweller Chunk, a smear of ichor. I don't know. Well, rest in peace, Willow. Our first accident in 159 early spring. The new year has rolled around. And other than that, the vault's still quiet. I guess that means we'll be getting a new batch of nobles eventually. Ah, oh, well, Jonathan S. Fox, you've been suffocated. I think that a large rad scorpion did you in while you were out here. 
We've got our people running all over the land side, picking up goods and clothing and gear and stuff like that. Putting it in bins and chests, getting it all sorted out. And you were out there with your hammer, trying to protect and defend them. When a large rad scorpion took its stinger and pierced right through your throat, I believe. But you've got a tomb, and you'll be forever remembered there. And it's 8th Hematite 159, early summer. I'm trying not to do too many updates, because there's not a whole lot going on. And as soon as we can get all these, uh, all this stuff c updated here, we'll be having the arena going. I've been talking about it, saying it's close forever now. But it is getting closer. You can tell we've got some water pits there. And people keep getting themselves trapped here. Take down that wall. I've had them try to build this corner first and they get trapped in there. And I've had them try to build this corner first and they get trapped in there. I'm going to try once more. And if uh, somebody does get trapped in there, then we'll just watch them die and we'll laugh. Because they should know better and I'm tired of dealing with it. And we need that to be closed in so I can fill it with water. Just a few more water pits down there. And I think the arena will be done. And a human caravan from the Azri Shosha have arrived. We really need to do some trading with them. We're almost out of, out of meat. I haven't pulled meat shoot in a while, so all of our all of our muskox in there are dying of old age. Let's take a quick glance around there, shall we? Got a bunch of stray muskox. There's a bunch of bones. More bones, bones, bones. Skulls and bones, 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 bones. We haven't pulled that for a long time. So they're building up in there, but not as much as I would like. We've struck pitch blend. I'm also on these little offshoots here, outside the arena, following the ore trails. Because now we're uh, starting to run out of ore down in the mine. And I refuse to mine it out of our central section here. So these little branches that are shooting off the hallways will follow them whenever they hit a, hit a vein of ore. I guess then, from this, then we'll just trade with the Azri Shosha, see what they've got going on. Rar, you're still demanding an item in your throne room or office. You haven't snapped yet. I don't know when you will. Other than that, the vault remains peaceful. <laughs>